Okay, this is Tara from Tribal Corns, and we are separating out the babies from um, our buck and doe mice in here. The two brown ones are the does, and the male is the um, white one, the buck. And um, they gave us a bunch of little babies, and surprisingly, for their colors, they gave us a bunch of different colored babies. You got a little cow baby underneath the two browns. Here's a little, uh, there, there, you can see a little cow baby, and then you got another cow baby, that's right here, hold on, cow baby, and come on, it's scotch colored and white cow baby, um, males are on the right, females are on the left, we're figuring out who's male and female today, um, show you real quick. Males have genitals that are farther apart than the females. It's a lot easier to show you with two hands. I don't currently have two hands to use though. Uh, in the light. Maybe in the light be you. Oh. You flipped over. Come on. Oh no baby. Just for a second. There you go. Okay. So you can see genital and his anal is farther apart. See that right there. And those two little dots. And he has no tits. Come on, flip over. Flip over. Uh, I'll show one of females with tits. Um, females genitals will be closer together. And they will have tits. Come on, flip. See, you can see the tits. Oh, you saw them for a second. Hold on. Come on, little baby. Okay, flip. You can see little tits. You see those little dots? Look like they're underneath her armpit. Those are tits. Um, so females at this age will have them. And her genitals are going to be a lot closer. Come on, stop. Come on. Genitals are a lot closer than the male. There you go. Now you can see. A lot closer than the male before. Okay, so we'll put them back together. So we got females here, does, and we got bucks on the right. Here's the rest of the babies in here, because I'm still sexing them. Um, we're doing this because some of the babies we'll be keeping. Oh, why did I take two? Um, and some of the babies we won't be keeping. A lot of, They have a lot of brown babies. These are probably going to be our feeders for the snakes. But Okay, you can see upside down. This one... In the light has tits. Uh, I can barely see the tits on there. Tits and a very close anal to cloaca. Female. Or cloaca, that's a snake term. Anal to genital. Oh, we got another little cow baby. Oh, it's not really a cow baby. It's a. He, he's so cute. Or she, maybe, I don't know. He, he look how cute it is. Um, a lot of the ones that are fancy like this will probably be selling to the pet store. So they'll actually be going to homes. Because um, we'll be selling them as fancy mice, not as feeders. And um, pretty much all these fancy ones are going to be going. The brown ones, and we got a number of scotch ones, scotch colored. They... Some of them will be feeders, some of them won't. Let's see, what are you now? You do look a lot to be a male. Yes, and you have no tits, you're a male. Another brown male. There you go. So we got three males so far, and one, two, three, four females. And we're on the last two babies. Upside down. This guy here is jet black. I actually really like these jet black ones. 
really pretty. See what you are. Come here. Normally, you never ever use their tail as actually, not even normally. Just don't ever use their tail as a handle because you can actually really hurt them by doing that. This looks to be a male. Your little male, little boy. We got a black boy. And the last one is a really, really butterscotch looking. Just like her grandma. Her grandma's actually in here, but she's not out right now. I'll show her later. See, beautiful little scotch baby. She's gonna be butterscotch colored like her mama. Uh, actually, it might be a boy. Oh, that looks like. That looks like a boy to me. Yep, that's a boy. Oh, I got more boys in this clo uh, clutch. Gosh, snake terms. Okay, so we got boys here. Um, boys here. Girls here. Got two brown girls. These two are probably going to be the feeders. We got a gray girl. And we got the cow girl. Um, we've got a little stripy boy. Looks like a gray boy. Or it's a really mucky looking butterscotch color compared to just grandma. And uh, black. And then the brown boy. Probably the brown ones are most likely going to be feeders. The rest of them will probably go to pet stores. We'll find out soon. Uh, so these guys are all done. We can give them back to their mamas. Come here, everybody. Gently, gently. Um, a lot of the mice that I do have that are adults have been hand raised by me. Um, let's put this up here. There you go, babies. I'll get you guys in a second. Um, the out of the females in here, none of these guys were hand raised. Um, however, I did hold them quite a bit, so once I get them out, they're actually really nice to hold. Um, and I like to hold the babies as much as possible so that when they do go to homes, they're eventually going to be very nice and comfy. And there she goes, right through her babies. She's going to start moving them though, because I don't hold this up. Here, here. Keep the babies in there. Okay? Good to you babies. There you go. Good mamas. Um, now those two females are actually working the, together. They had their babies within a day of each other. Um, which is why it's really hard to tell which ones are which. Come here babies. There we go. So, uh, here's, your, here's the rest of your babies. Come on. Yes, baby. Somebody take it. Take it, baby. And Papa's up here looking. Hey, Snowbell. This tank's not the best one to use, but I don't want it like that. Okay, next batch of babies. We've got Nim, is one of the um, patriarchs of our mousy kingdom, or whatever you want to call it. Um, yes, I named her Nim from the Secret of Nim movie. Um, she's, because she looked like her, she's butterscotch colored. And this is where all those babies wound up getting their butterscotch colors. See, there's Nim. And the little brown boy in there is, um, the buck of this group, anyway, of these babies. Hello, Nim. Can you see your babies? See, she's really nice. Um, these two were, um, she wasn't hand raised by me, by me. She was from a pet store. So she was really nice. But, um, the boy was hand raised by me. He's really nice. Hey, buddy. Hey. <laughs> okay, come on out, guys. Here's your babies. 
Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey, babies. Okay, let's go get the babies. Nim's actually really used to me doing this. Oh, I need to see. It's getting harder and harder to get them all out at once. I know, Nim, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oop. Put them all in here, babies. I know, I know, you don't want your babies taken. Don't worry, they're not going to be hurt. She had, oh, you're going to fall. Oop. There you go, okay. Uh, see, she's really used to this. Come here. And they're all in here. Okay. Now, put them in the middle and we'll sex these guys. Jet black baby. I love these jet black ones. Um, let's see. Who are you? You look like... It's really hard to see tits on these ones. Stop moving so much. Jeez. Come on. Hear that? Oh, they were making suckling noises. Huh? Let's see. Come here. I, I do see tits, and it's pretty close up there too. Female. Females are going to be over here. Females and males are going to be right here. Here we go. Oh, let's get the Harry Potter mouse. Yeah, I already sexed this one, but, um, because I really like him. Oop. Harry Potter mousey, he's jet black with a lightning bolt. <laughs> he's a little cutie. Definitely going to the pet store. I think a little kid would love him. This is a male. Oh, wait, I put female over here. Male. Yeah. Okay. I already sexed him a little while ago, so that's why I did that. Let's get the cow mousey. Oh, you're already upside down. Oh, no. Okay. Cow mousey number two. Yeah, black and white cow. Uh, let's see, what are you? White. You are a female. Yes, you are. Female. Over here. Oh, that means we have a black female and a white female. Come here. Cow mousey number uh, three. I think there was, no, four, because there was four. There was another one that was butterscotch and white. It's beautiful. Um, what's actually funny is all these babies, even um, their babies and Nim's babies, were all... Um, born within days of each other and you can see Nim's such a good mama these babies are all fat and they're a lot bigger than the other new mother's babies what are you are you male or female stop ripping you are a male nice big male he's gonna be a beautiful buck Oh, you can see we got a ton of butterscotch babies from her. There's one that's kind of a muddy butterscotch, whereas the other two are really, really butterscotch. This is the muddy butterscotch one. So, like we said, like I said before, uh, a lot of these guys are going to be for sale. Some of these are going to be food. Come on, switch, turn over. You're a turnover. Oh, you're a definite female. You can definitely see the tits on this one. Look, 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 look. Oh, oh. You can see them for a second. Hold on. Come on, turn over. There. See? See those tits? You can see them real easy. Right there. The two. And then the ones underneath the armpits. Very clear female. Over here. Oh, wow. Look at all the caramel babies. That one white one that's in there is actually an albino, and it was actually not one of Nim's babies. That baby, which I'll come and I'll get right now, um, that one was actually one of their babies, but they weren't taking care of it. They 
kicked it out of the nest. So here's an albino. He's definitely going to be a feeder, so I don't really know why I'm sexing him, but it's also a little bit too small to sex still. I think it's a male, though. Male. Over here. We got another brown. Little brown baby. Hey, little brown baby. Little brown baby. Where are you? You are a male. Clear male. Oop. Oh, I'm sorry, little one. Now all we got left are caramel. One really mucky brown mm. caramel. I'm gonna get that one out first. Ooh. There you are. Mucky brown caramel. You look to be a female. You are a female. Okay, you go over here. Your sisters. Here's. Was this the really nice? This is one of the two really nice butterscotch ones. This one is going to look just like her, her grandma. Or his grandma. We'll find out in a second. Hold on. You male or female? You look like a. I think you're a male. Come here. Yeah, that's a male. We got a male. Little boy. Uh, we got one more mucky caramel and one pure caramel in there. We'll get the pure one out first. Oh, if I can grab it. Uh, who is this? Who is this? Oh, we got both of them. No, we don't need both. Who wants to go first? Apparently the mucky caramel wants to go first. Here's another mucky caramel. You can tell they're caramel, not all by because they have the darker eyes. Oh, their eyes are starting to open soon. Yay. Cuties. Oh, he's a male. No, it's not. Never mind. That's a female. Female. You can see the tits. Very clear there. It looks a bit far away. Huh. Female. Wow, she gave a lot of females. Come here. Oop. This is the purest caramel baby we got. Do a little cutie. Really used to being held. Hear that little popping noise? Possibly. I don't know if you can hear it or not. That popping noise is them trying to suckle. Here. What are you? Over. You have a belly button. Ah, oh, it's a male. It's a clear male. So we got all the mucky caramels are females. The clearest caramels are males. That's surprising. Huh. Okie dokie. So we got all of our little babies fixed. Um, figure out who's who. We really only need one good caramel. <laughs> Look at all of them. Okay, so we'll put them back with their mama. Who is having some fun right now. Mama. Say hi, Nim. Uh, we do have three more white mice in here, but and they did have a um, bunch of babies. They had 22 babies. However, they ate them all. So we're not going to be using them for breeding anymore. Yeah, we're not going to use them for breeding anymore, those white ones, because the white mice ate all 22 of their babies. So... Hope you guys have a good night. See you later. Bye.